And we're back and faster than light. We are just about to um, get into the third sector here. Um, as you may remember, we lost uh, already two or three of our crew members. We just got one left during the last sector, but we just bought another one in, in NG. So we now got um, two crew members again and um, our, we repaired our hull completely. So we might stand a chance to get further. We'll have to wait. Another choice to make, NG Control Sector or NG Homeworlds? I think we want to go with the NG Homeworlds because there's another civilian sector down here and then we can just move pretty civilian back to the end. I think that's what we want to do. Let's do it! Okay, I got some hope back now. <laughs> Let's see. You've, you have arrived in Angie Space. The fall of the Federation has brought tough times to these robotic life forms, but they are usually willing to help. Alright, looking good so far. I don't want to go that far back, so let's hit. Maybe this one and then down there? Yeah, let's do this. Let's do that. Maybe we can get some more NG crew members here. The Federation encrypted signal is being broadcast from a nearby planet. Send an away party to investigate. You find a secret Federation outpost. They are regrettably out of supplies, but are eager to tell you of another secret base. They give you the coordinates. Added a quest marker to your map. Whoa! That's a first! Never saw that. Let's go there. Let's see what they are doing, if they can help us. By following the directions given to you, you find a well-disguised outpost. You are welcomed by a friendly face who offers to assist you in your quest by joining your crew. Awesome! Perfect! Hector! Wow, that's... that's awesome. What kind of guy is he? He just got 70 health, which isn't too much. Let's have a look at him. Hector is a Sultan. The Sultans are close allies of the Angie. Their innate energy is strong enough to power ship systems. Provides power to occupied system. That's cool, I suppose. So if he has a shield, do we have to... Oh, we got one power left now. That's awesome. We could power engine with that. Wow, amazing. This is surprisingly well going here. And there's a store. Let's visit this location. We'll hit the store very soon here, but first of all, we should try to get some more scrap out of things. An anti ship in the vicinity, seeing you jump an arm to the teeth. Immediately broadcasts its surrender. Subject goal wealth. Energy motivation survival. Transfer of goods acceptable. Okay, that's accepted. 34 scrap, that's awesome. That's awesome! Wow! That's what we needed, definitely. Let's hit one more beacon before we will hit the store. Yeah. Maybe we can get even more scrap and really spend some money in the store. Awesome! Perfect! Some more scrap for free! It couldn't go better! We are doing really good. Let's hit the store now. Let's see what they offer. Maybe we can buy some really nice stuff. Okay... What the hell is that? Drone recovery arm. Non-destroyed drones will be retrieved when jumping, allowing their parts to be reused. Stealth weapons prevents your weapon fire from disrupting your cloak, allowing you to shoot at while cloaked. On FTL jammer scrambles enemy ships with FTL computers Doubling the time it takes to their dead for them to jump. No, I don't think I want to have anything of those. Ah, uh, of course. Now that I have the money, there are no good offers. I could buy a crew teleporter, but I don't really want to teleport my crew over to their ships because they. I don't have any crew members that are good in in combat. Drone control. No, I don't think we will buy anything here. 
Instead, we could upgrade our weapon system by one. And our energy system. And that way we can power up our rocket launcher as well. And then we got three weapons and a level two shield. And we got three crew members. So we are doing pretty well, I, I think. Okay, let's see what the distress beacon wants from us. A ship without life forms within a nearby dense asteroid field is giving off the distress call. Shall we investigate? It could be dangerous. We're doing pretty good. Let's search it. Oh, took some hull damage there. Pieces of a derelict ship coated with ice or crystal. Before you have a chance to dock a few asteroids, get past your shields and partially damage your engines. You'll have to pull out. That wasn't a good decision. Well, we'll live with it. Oh, well, let's see. Okay, we have to go over to this beacon, so we might as well go the direct way. Maybe... Let's let's take this one. Maybe if we have enough time, we can take both of them. Should be good. Let's see what we'll find here. You arrive at the Sultan Research Facility. They say they are researching genetic distortion due to stasis sleep and prolonged FTL travel. They ask if your crew has the time to undergo a few scans. Why not? We could get some scrap. What? <laughs> it was a trap? Oh, they were... Oh no, not intruders. Hate it. Oh, we need to get Hector out of there immediately. Okay, we'll get the doors open. And we'll get Hector... ...to... ...the weapons. And maybe he can fight some of them. We will should open those doors as well. And scoops go to the medical bay and wait for more instructions. Okay, let's fight everything we have. Let's disable the shield and let's fire our rocket and at their video 2 system. No, which let's fire at their weapons. All we got. Okay, what do we have here? What the hell is going on? Where's our... Oh, here he is. Okay. Maybe we can get him down a little bit. Weapons are still charging up. Oh, okay. We'll have to fight him. We'll have to fight him. They will destroy our... Let's open this one. They will destroy us. They will destroy us. Destroy us! Hate to say it, but they will destroy us. Oh man. I hate those intruders so much. Okay, let's get him out of there. Let's actually open those doors here to drain the oxygen from everywhere we can. And let's get him to be in the weapon system. Oh no, oh no, that's not good. Maybe they want to attack our pilot. Oh, they sure want. Okay, we don't need a pilot right now. So Bulma should go up to the this room as well. Oh, we should we really open this one before they close our... Um... Okay, okay, okay. Not good, not good. Not good, really not good. We need to get Hector out of there very soon. All right. Oh, dang it, I totally forgot to get our weapons going. All of you guys. Okay, we should be able to destroy them before they can destroy our weapon system. So that should be good. Our O2 system is doing quite well. Let's close those doors and let's get you guys into the medical bay. And let's try to drain the oxygen a little bit more. Okay, we got the ship. Um, we rescued them. We got some stuff, but we still have to fight those guys here. More intruders? No. Just still the... The O2. That's okay, I suppose. 
we don't want to have any O2 in there. We want to get them. Why the hell? Oh, it's a rock man, so they won't take any damage. Okay, we'll have to fight them. We'll have to fight them, and the medical bay is the best place to ha fight them. Maybe we can do it. Okay, we got one guy down, and we're doing pretty good because we are healing up. Awesome! We did it, guys. This, this was our first intruder fight without losing any of our crew members, I think. That went surprisingly well. Alright, we are still doing pretty good. Everything is healed up. Okay, Bulma. Get to repair the shields. The NG will get to the... To the weapon system again. And you guy... Yeah, you can... May, might as well help Bulma fixing the shields up. Oh, they have to go to the to the medical bay once again. Not Hector, but the other two guys. All right, we're doing good. It wasn't too bad, I think. What we did here. Let's power up our weapons again. You two go back to the medical bay for for a little bit, and then you can go there, and you can go to the bridge. Bulma, Scoops, and Hector. I should really learn their names. We are ready to jump! Awesome! Another store! We will hit the store, but first we will hit this one, I think, and then... Yeah, we should have enough time to get through that stuff. Let's try to get some more scrap out of this beacon here. Nothing of interest. Okay. Well, let's hit the store. Maybe we can buy some stuff here. A weapon. Maybe it wouldn't be too bad to buy another weapon. We don't really need a crew teleporter and I don't know if a cloaking device would be useful. Uh, we can't afford it anyways. Um. We could fix ourselves. It would cost 12 scrap and we could... Oh, we can't afford anything. Let's sell the drone. And we can purchase the heavy laser. I think that's what I want to do. And then spend the rest on fixing us up. And... We can power our shields. Now we can depower this one and power our laser. So we got three... Awesome. Three weapons without using the rocket launcher. That's perfect. We're doing good, guys. We're doing... Oh, man. We are already almost in range. We should be able to visit every beacon on the way to the exit. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. You arrive near a small fleet of civilian NG ships. A simple decryption and translation of the COM frequency tells you that they are having a frantic discussion about something obviously troubling them. Have your NG crew member contact them, which is awesome, I think. Your crew member syncs with the COM unit to communicate with them directly. You offer your help and a summary of the ship's mission. They respond. Our goals have an analogous elements. However, not all available for disclosure. Discretion necessary. Offer your help. Secret technology stolen by Mantis. Implicit connection to rebels. Implicit. Track Mantis to hidden rebel base. Uploading coordinates. Okay, we should fight the Mantis for them, I think. However, track the second ship to the different base. Would calculate probability, but data insufficient. Cannot risk obvious rebel NG conflict. Also need time to acquire military ships. Assist in finding technology. Add request marker to the next sector. Awesome. Uh, I don't like how they are talking, but I think that's what... Um, because they are half robotic. Um, but we get some, some quest um, beacons sooner or later. In the next sector, it's added. So let's get to this distress beacon and then exit the sector. Awesome, we will enter the fourth sector, I think. That's good. The distress signal is coming from a small space station orbiting an uninhabited planet. Their satellite defense system has gone haywire and their repair crew can't approach without being fired on. We had that once before. Remotely repair its targeting system. Disable the defense system. So now we got two... Oh, by the way, guys, if you didn't know, the blue options um, are already special options. You can just choose if you have some special things on your ship. For example, the iron weapon or an engine mem crew member. 
but I don't know what is best better. Okay, let's let's try if our NG crew member can repair it. Awesome! Loads of scrap out of that. We are doing good. We are doing good. Um, we'll still need some more scrap though. Let's hit the exit of the third sector. Alright guys, you've arrived at the long range beacon. You see a small station fitted with hundreds of repair drones. You receive an automated message. We don't know who you are and we don't care, but this is the right place for some ship repair. Oh, so there are places you can repair your ship um, apart from a shop. That's quite good. I think it's pretty expensive though, so let's ignore the station. We are pre doing pretty good. Next sector! Oh man. All those rebels. All those rebels. Let's hit it. Next sectors are either a slug home nebula or a sultan control sector. And you guys will see it next episode. Wow! We never played this long so far. Hope you enjoyed it and I will see you next time!